Hello, my name is John Osborne. I'm the Director of Emergency Services for the County of Calaveras. I'm here today to talk to you about a new valuable tool we are putting into our wildfire arsenal, uh, and that tool is an evacuation tag. This tool came about from a collaborative effort with our first responders throughout the county, our law enforcement partners, our firefighting partners, and our state partners at CAL FIRE. My name is Mike Johnson. I'm with the Evans Pass Fire District. Myself and Battalion Chief Rodney Hendricks would like to talk to you today about a few things that we feel are very important. One of which is this Calaveras County evacuation sign. These signs can be found and available at your local fire station. So the address signs are available through Calaveras County Sheriff Department. You can contact them either at the Sheriff's Department in San Andreas or at your local substation and you can pick up the form and order them and it's $25 for a two-sided sign and the sign should be placed out by the road where we can see them and that's a great place to attach the evacuated sign. These are very important for firefighters and responders in your area to come and know that you're not at your home anymore. Hello, I'm Sergeant Greg Stark, the Public Information Officer for the Calaveras County Sheriff's Office. Today we're going to talk about evacuations and our new evacuation tool, the evacuation tag. This tag has a wire twist tie at the end of it that you can place at the end of your driveway in the event of evacuation. Uh, there's two types of evacuations um, that could be issued during a wildfire in conjunction with law enforcement. Those two types of evacuations are an evacuation warning, which is we're warning that fire could impact your property um, or your structures, and then there's an evacuation order. The evacuation order um, is a mandatory evacuation that we're telling you that you need to leave your property because it's unsafe for you to be there. The evacuation warning is saying that fire could impact your property, but go ahead and evacuate um, because of the potential that it could impact. Uh, some issues that we've had in the past is we get people who don't heed those warnings. They feel that they don't need to evacuate. And what causes problems there is first responders that are coming in, law enforcement and fire, to help out with the evacuations or to protect life and property are impacted by citizens who didn't evacuate. And oftentimes those citizens decide to evacuate when it's too late and they put themselves in danger and they put first responders, including fire and law enforcement in danger. Another good resource um, when it comes to evacuations is the CAL FIRE website, www.readyforwildfire.org. If you go to that website, it gives you information on evacuations and things that you can do to prepare ahead of an evacuation warning or order being issued. Hello. My name is John Rohrbaugh and I'm the fire chief for the City of Angels Camp and for the Alphaville Millennials Fire Department. The Calaveras County Office of Emergency Services has made this program uniform throughout the County of Calaveras and the City of Angels Camp. All public safety agencies will have these tags. Fire can spread double in size once a minute. So if you see a 10 acre fire over in the distance, that fire could be 20 acres in a minute then 40 acres, then 80 acres, and so on and so on. Hi, Chief Ellis here with the Angels Camp Police Department. Now that you've placed your evacuation tags on your residences, don't be fearful that people or criminals may know that your house is evacuated because the Angels Camp Police Department and members of law enforcement throughout the county will be doing extra patrol throughout the neighborhoods to ensure the safety of all the residences. Once the fire is over and it's safe to return home, please remove the tag immediately. If it's damaged, you can get a new one at the Sheriff's Office or any number of fire stations throughout the county. Other tools residents can use created by the Office of Emergency Services include our Community Information Center. The address is below. When you visit that site, you can find out information about current events, current emergencies, the evacuation application, and weather information. In addition to the informational tools I've just discussed, the Office of Emergency Services has tips and guides that can help you prepare for wildfire. Uh, those include a wildfire action plan, a family communication plan, and an emergency supply kit guide. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. The Office of Emergency Services would like to thank our first responder partners as well as our residents in becoming more prepared for wildfires. Thank you.